everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm very happy to have you here guys so guys i know the holiday season is coming and i was thinking that you might be interested in buying some gifts for people close to you for your family for your partner for your sister brother for whoever and i was thinking about uh, doing some uh, for her and for him fragrance reviews this is like a, a series i mean i have i think three videos planned and i want to start with two fragrances from latafa if you already watch my videos, you know I absolutely love Latafa as a brand. Latafa has some of my favorite fragrances. Not all of them are loves, but I do enjoy and I think they have a good quality for the price. I want to start with two newer fragrances, I think. Uh, they're, they're both from the Fahar line. I am talking about Fahar for women and Fahar for men. I don't have the bottles, guys. I just have uh, decants of these. This is the one for women. This is the one for men. As always, I will insert the notes here and I will let you know what I think about the fragrance and if I would recommend it or not. So let's begin. I will start with the one for the ladies because ladies always go first. I have first seen this fragrance on uh, Jasmine's uh, Instagram. I think her Instagram is called uh, La Jolie Two Cents, I think. I will insert her Instagram here. And also I have seen this one on uh, Adi's uh, Instagram page. I will insert both of the links below. But yes, guys, basically I've seen uh, this one there first. And what can I tell you, the bottle is absolutely beautiful. I think the packaging is very well done. It's very elegant and classy, nothing um, nothing opulent, nothing too out there. It's kind of classy. So I know that this fragrance gets compared to uh, L'Enfant Deep by Givenchy. I don't have that fragrance, but I'm familiar with how that fragrance smells. And I would say that if you want to buy this one or if you're interested in buying this one, buy it looking for a fragrance that's inspired by that one. Don't buy it expecting a one-on-one -on -one clone because it's not. I would say that they they took some inspiration from that fragrance and now you have this beauty over here. Let me just start by saying that this doesn't have any Middle Eastern vibe to it. So if you're not into those more oriental, traditional Middle Eastern fragrances, this one is safe for you because it doesn't have any Middle Eastern vibe. This is your typical like French style of perfumery for sure. So guys, this is a floor. This is soft, this is delicate, this is warm. It's elegant a bit, but not too elegant. It's a beautiful fragrance. This is for a very feminine, girly girl, or even if for a feminine woman, not necessarily a girly girl. The most prominent note that I get to my nose is tuberose. But this is not your bubblegumish tuberose that you get in, uh, for instance, uh, Inara White by Afnan. And this is not your grandma kind of tuberose that you get in a lot of uh, old school uh, vintage fragrances. And guys, something, a disclaimer, I like tuberose, but it's not my favorite when it comes to florals. So um, I don't have a high tolerance for very vintage style of tuberose, you know. But this, I would say that this is very elegant and modern. Even if you're not a fan of tuberose, I don't think this is bothering or this could be bothering to you. Okay, so to me, the notes I get the most are the tuberose, the jasmine, the lily of the valley and the honeysuckle. This is soft, guys. Think of a bouquet of white flowers. Florals. <laughs> oh my gosh. Think of a bouquet of white flowers. Think of a bouquet of uh, soft white florals uh, surrounded by a touch of fruitiness and, and a soft musky touch. Also some slight green nuances in the background, but this is not a green fragrance. This is not a heady floral. This is not a uh, dark floral. This is to me kind of bright, kind of uplifting, but a bit elegant at the same time. Yes, now as it sits on my skin, the tuberose that was kind of strong in the opening, I feel like it tones down. And now you get like um, a very balanced floral fragrance. When I first smelled it, um, I almost got like a slight uh, honey touch to it, but it doesn't have any honey, but not like that thick, dense honey, more like a honey with with if that makes sense, hope it does. But I'm getting that from the honeysuckle because I know how that uh, flower smells in real life and it's very sweet, uh, sweet but soft at the same time and very rich smelling. Yeah, now to me guys, this is a very balanced fragrance. It's not too sweet, it's not too heavy, it's not too light. It has a bit of a soapy vibe, but like more like a luxurious soap kind of vibe, not like a cheap smelling soapy vibe. But that soapy vibe, I get it only a tad. Like I said, this to me, this is a floral. This is a very safe fragrance. This is your, or this could be your everyday kind of fragrance. You could even wear this one to the office. I cannot imagine how 
someone could be bothered by this scent because it's very pleasant i'm not the biggest floral uh lover very floral fragrances um it tend to give me headaches sometimes but this one i don't think it, it could give you headaches because it has an overall soft and delicate uh aura to it it's not your heady kind of florals guys to me i would say that this is more of a casual scent but you could dress it up you could dress it down according to what you wear i feel like this fragrance could match a more casual outfit just as well as it could match like a dress or something like this no guys on whom i would picture this fragrance i would picture this fragrance on a very soft delicate feminine woman or i would imagine this one on a woman that wants to uh, be very in touch with her feminine side uh, that's the kind of woman that i would picture this fragrance on now performance wise guys I to be very honest uh it, it doesn't perform it's not the best it's not the worst uh i would say that it's average if i were to wear this one i would have to uh i would first of all i would overspray it and then i would have to reapply it every like five to six hours to me guys if you are looking for this kind of fragrance and for the price you can not really uh complain about the performance because there are other way more expensive fragrances that do not perform now guys let's move on to the one for men okay so uh i know this one gets compared to why by yves saint laurent i have not smelled that one i don't know if it's the eau de parfum if it's the eau de toilette i haven't smelled that one so i cannot tell you how similar they are or if they are similar but i can only tell you how i feel about the scent profiling if i enjoy it or not um okay so guys this is a very manly man kind of fragrance it starts off fresh a bit citrusy a bit sweet but on a woody base in the background it has to me it has like slight not herbal but more like mossy woody nuances it's 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 a fresh citrusy fragrance with some mossy nuances on a base that's very earthy but not earthy in the sense of patchouli bothering headache inducing more in the sense of grounding like it has depth to it it's not that very bright fresh citrusy fragrance that smells like a shower gel if you know what i mean i don't know why but it makes me think of the color blue and dark green mixed together and that's how this one would smell honestly okay so this one to me it is a balanced fragrance i don't think it's too heavy on a specific note but it is i would say that it is a bit more mature leaning so would i really picture this one on like on like a 20 year old boy or man i don't know i don't know it's not that mature fragrance that you would only see it on like 50 plus people not not that kind but mature in the sense that even though guys that this one is a bit fresh like i said a bit citrusy mossy woody earthy it has um it has an elegant vibe to it yeah so i would typically see this one on more like elegant outfits but this is a very manly man kind of fragrance this smells very masculine guys i don't think that i would see this one on a woman i mean you know how fragrances are like uh, they don't have a gender to me this one i would see it on a very manly man is this one the most unique uh, out of this world new kind of fragrance that i you've never ever smelled before and <laughs> no um but i feel like if you're looking for a basic fragrance a good basic fragrance just like how I, i've described it that uh it will make you feel like a clean manly man that it will for sure give you compliments because this fragrance these are the kind of fragrances that women enjoy on men yes as it stays on my skin it gets a bit sweeter and i don't get that mossy vibe anymore okay so like when i say mossy when i say earthy i'm talking about slight nuances I'm not talking about like legit um, very prominent notes or very prominent accords, you know. I'm talking about slight nuances, you know. But yeah, most this is like fresh, a bit citrusy, but not too citrusy, more fresh. A bit woody, it has a sweetness to it. As it sits on my skin, I feel like this one gets sweeter and it almost has like a slight metallic undertone. But it's wearable. This is still a wearable fragrance. So yes, guys, this is everything I wanted to tell you about these two fragrances. Now, if you ask me, I think uh, both of these two are safe enough to blind buy uh, them for gifts if you want or for you even if you're interested in those. Both of these do not have a Middle Eastern vibe. I would say that both of these are pretty safe when it comes to the scent profile. If you enjoy soft florals, you will for sure enjoy the one for women. If you enjoy those masculine, manly kind of fragrances, you will for sure enjoy uh, the one for men. I can guarantee you that. When it comes to the performance uh, for the one for men, again, I'm sorry, but I cannot tell you. I would say that it's average. It didn't blow me away. I don't think that it's sort of a beast mode fragrance, but keep in mind, guys, that I, I sprayed like 
two three sprays on my skin so maybe if you were to overspray it you would feel different about it but i always say with these two i would actually advise you to overspray it and i think that you should reapply them but these are just my thoughts if you've tried any of these two i would absolutely love to know uh, what you feel about it do you find them enjoyable do you find them repulsive how do you find the performance how long they last on you i think it would help also the people who are interested so if you've tried them please uh, put in the comment section your experience with the fragrances would absolutely love to know that i think both of, both of these are beautiful i think they are very easy to enjoy kind of fragrances they work for all occasions all outfits uh you can dress them up you can dress them down you know this is all up to you uh, this is everything i wanted to tell you today if you want to tell me anything please put it in the comment section down below don't forget you can follow me on instagram i will link it here somewhere so yes thank you so much for watching and i want to wish you an amazing day wherever you are bye guys Mwah.